Hey guys, I'm in. <laughs> I'm with Cindy. Um, I'm doing a little question and answer. So ask some questions about anything. It could be about politics, and, and we'll answer. Them. This to me is the most unusual thing I've ever seen David Dobrik do. There's, there's, there's. I'm looking at a 15 minute long video of him rejecting women, or just being embarrassed or shy around women that are attracted to him, that are hitting on him. This is the first time ever where he is kind of openly showing his attraction, flirting with another woman that has shown attraction in him especially. David's notoriously private about his relationship life, about who he's dating. And I know that he does date. I mean, he's talked about it on his podcast where he goes through his DMs. If you have like some sort of like business or influencer account on Instagram, you get message requests. I have thousands of them. I'm sure David literally has millions of message requests. He talks about himself looking at them. He talks about himself going through them, looking for who's cute. He's said it on podcasts before. I'll tell you about a girl right now. Guess what happened, Jay? You'll probably think this is crazy. This girl DM me, she goes, what Ella said was so normal on the podcast about nudes. Oh Let's yeah, talk about yeah. that for a second. That's, because what, that's what she DM me. And I responded, haha, she will be happy to hear people agree with her. And then she liked it, and she DM'd me saying, yay, I love the podcast. And I responded saying, finally, someone. And she goes, not just anyone, a five foot two Latina who is great with airports. <laughs> and I go, bullshit, you're five foot two. And then she goes, dead ass. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> sounds perfect. And yeah, she like, sends nudes. Like and she says, dead ass. <laughs> sounds like your wife. Sounds, sounds like my like wife. Your wife. In a recent podcast, he's talked about going on dates with a girl. So this is something that David does regularly. It's not like he doesn't hook up with anybody. He actually does. He's just super private about it and really shy about publicly showing interest in another person. So this is weird for David to do this, which makes me think two things. One, and this is probably the most obvious one, this is just clickbait. He just wants to get the views back up on his channel and he knows that bringing in an Instagram model who flirts with him gets the views. So let's just assume that's the truth. This is all for clickbait. But what if it's also like, Who's to say that these two aren't hooking up? And so what I wanna do in this video is I wanna really look and see, do these two look like they've actually hooked up before? And next, which is the most important part of my videos is what can you learn from these two interacting? Is David doing something specific? Is Cindy doing something specific? I want you to always have a takeaway, something that you can take into your own relationships and social skills. And then I saw my friend Cindy on the cover of Maxim Magazine. So I decided to give her a call and see what she's doing. Just so you guys see what a gentleman I am. Okay, it's too heavy, just fucking take it. I asked Cindy if she wanted to hang out and coincidentally, it was also move out day. And she's having me move her shit downstairs. <laughs> I just came down. I'm gonna let you handle this one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Guys, I walked into Cindy's house. She's living with 72 girls. That's not my house. I don't have a house right now. Oh, touchy subject. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, actually, I got locked out of the U.S. and then got broken up with, and then. Oh, so that's why you're here, because you're single, and you need a green card, <laughs> and you heard about my citizenship. Exactly. Oh. And you responded. You picked me up. <laughs> I like, um, like medium this. ugly guys. What the fuck? You had you're a crush the only on me. Exception. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to process it in my head. You're actually pretty cute. No, I'm not saying that. I, no. <laughs> Stop. Wait, just said it. No. <laughs> to me, this like this is my second time watching this, and still, to me, it it just looks like all faked. Like it looks like she's saying this because she knows it's gonna get some attention, like it did last time. That being said, I don't know Cindy. I don't know how she ex she expresses herself. This could possibly be how she expresses herself. She just says things in a very like flat way. Doesn't show any emotion almost looks like she's badly acting when she's truly being authentic. Is that the case? I hate it here. I Not again! You've literally done, <laughs> you've done this yourself! We started to hit it off, so I decided to take her to a very special place. What do you think? Aww. It's where we met! <laughs> <laughs> Saddle Ranch was a bust, but thankfully we found some common ground soon after. Do you yeah. like Marvel? Do I like Marvel? Yeah, I'm like a huge Marvel fan. Why don't you start with that? <laughs> you know, I wanna watch more videos of Cindy because half of her looks like she really is shy and kind of 
anxious, a little nervous and insecure. And then the other half looks like she's just like playing that character for the camera. So she doesn't come off as like a hot bish. Like, so she con kind of comes off relatable because of how good looking she is. She like wants to balance that <laughs> playing the game. I, I really can't tell, but mm. I mean, I'm starting to lean towards that. She is really just kind of shy and secure and this is how she expresses herself. You know what it is? It's the little time we have. It, it's if we had more time. What would you do? Whoa. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> what would you have me do? <laughs> no. Whoa, 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 oh. whoa. I knew exactly what I would have her do. Are you taking me to your bedroom? I just got her. <laughs> And just like that, I went from medium ugly to medium sexy. Close mask. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you look so hot. <laughs> You're like, I can have sex with you now. <laughs> I still can't really see a lot here. I mean, it's obvious kind of forced flirting going on. There may be an attraction. I think it's quite obvious, and David said this before, he needs like a really funny girl to actually be attracted to her. You know, it's so weird, I was thinking about this. If you've seen any of my videos before, like you have discovered me through like making videos like this, like reacting to David Dobrik and stuff. But for a, oh God, a long time, like over 15 years, I have actually been a social development coach. What does that mean? I help people with their relationships and their social skills. And I realized, wouldn't that be like such a good series to show you how I coach somebody through relationships? Well, I actually made a whole new series called First Date where I help people out on their first date. So each episode I set somebody up on a blind date and then I coach them on that date. This is a new series that I've been working really hard on. And so if you wanna watch it, hard on. <laughs> And so if you wanna watch the first episode of the third season, it's a completely new format. It's something I'm really proud of. You can click above or click down in the description and you could watch that episode right now. I worked so hard on it. And to me, it is the thing that I'm like most proud of ever making, ever. So again, this is a new channel. I'm trying to get it to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's a new channel. It doesn't even have a thousand subscribers yet. So if I had any Christmas gift, I don't really want anything. But the one thing I've been like dreaming about <laughs> is getting the new first date channel to a thousand subscribers before Christmas. That's my one thing that I want. So if you can click down there in the description, watch the episode and subscribe to that channel. Oh. It'll do so much good for me. Josie, do your best coat hanger impression, go. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Look how good she looks in underwear. Yeah, you won't get to like this anywhere else. It's exclusive sneak peek. <laughs> 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 so the best thing about David Dobrik, and I've said this in so many videos, but you guys have to take this seriously because this is the one defining factor that he has over everybody else is that he treats everyone, women too, supermodels, like his best friend. And he gets them acting the way that they would around their best friend. It is so much easier to build attraction and chemistry with somebody when you get them in this dynamic. It takes down people's walls. It gets people being vulnerable with you. This enables two people to show their attraction to their real selves. This is where you want to be. If only Cindy was here to see this. Oh my God, it's Cindy. There she was, my very own Mary Jane. I went up to her and told her that Iron Man was having a hot tub party. She said, Robert, Robert Downey, Downey Jr.? No, it's just me, but I can order pizza. Okay. Miraculously, she agreed to come by. Can I check this out? I did it. <laughs> you actually look like a mermaid. Oh, look at this. Like... This is my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of crazy we're just floating around in here, right? <laughs> like driving made sense, but this is just like weird. <laughs> What's your craziest party experience? I mean, not the craziest party experience but when me and like the girls shared a house they would always have parties and like remember we woke up one um, morning and Kyle woke up and he was like oh like there's a guy in the kitchen that looks like Usher and the guy goes I am Usher and then we were like, what? come on wait you... this is oh no it does have cheese <laughs> well yeah <but> pizza. <laughs> Cindy literally just goes I have a food fetish <laughs> and we go you love food <laughs> 
And she's like, no, food. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, what the fuck are you saying? She has a foot fetish. Food, say it. But it still sounds like food. What's the difference? Well, food is... <laughs> what's the difference she's like, the you... I, yeah, see, it's so hard for me to be able to tell what's going on inside Cindy's mind, but I'm gonna really go with, and my gut is telling me that she's genuinely anxious, nervous, shy around David. Maybe not just because of his personality, but also because, I mean, he's David Dobrik. He's the 19 million subscriber, whatever the fuck he is, famous dude, influencer extraordinaire with the big fucking mansion. And I think she feels intimidated around him. She wants to come off cool. She wants to be part of the cool David, oh, we're all cool kind of weird friends. And I think maybe Cindy's not used to that vibe. I think maybe she hangs around. And listen, I'm speculating right now just based off of... <laughs> Do I think she's attracted to David? No. Do I think David's attracted to Cindy? No. Do I think this is really just clickbait? Yeah but let's watch the last few seconds. I really want my mind to change because it would be so dope to see these two <laughs> dating. It would just be so weird. It's like I put them both in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, this is gonna oh. be my reputation. <laughs> Can I see your feet? I have a five out of five on the TV. Wait, not <laughs> That's my thumbnail. Yeah, they're they don't they don't really have chemistry. You could tell that this is a friendship just based in collaboration, which is fine. It's not a big deal. But they don't have chemistry. They're not attracted to each other. This is all for clickbait. I think you already were able to guess that, but I just wanted to make sure. And again, I cannot say it enough. The biggest thing that you gotta take from this video, any David Dobrik video I, that I make, is how good he is at being able to get most people, not Cindy, there's something off about Cindy. I don't know why she's not opening up around David the way everyone else is. My guess is it's because she's kind of putting on this, I'm attracted to David to, in order to get views. And because she's not going to like move away from that dynamic, she can't actually be her real self around David. I don't know Cindy all that well, but from what I see, there's an element of inauthenticity in, in these videos. Compare that to the other models that I've seen in these past couple of videos. They are so, so fully themselves around David. No, I don't know exactly exactly why David does act like that because I mean personally for me it took me years of like fucking like breaking my brain in half to stop acting weird and nervous and trying to act cool around women which the whole internet is talking about right now all the advice for men right now is how to act high value how to be alpha it's so fucking cheesy it's literally the worst thing you could do i mean look at fresh and fit podcast this motherfucker just hires women so he could try to act alpha around women so that little young boys will- If you put your hand on me one more time, I'm gonna throw you off physically. I'm gonna go to right- Don't do it! I'm gonna go right now. Don't do it! I will physically throw you off if you touch me again. David is a beta king. This is who he always was, and this is who he'll always be. Now, I don't truly know about David's dating life, because he's so fucking private about it. But he does let it slip out from time to time on his podcast, which I listen to. And like I said, he does date girls that slide into his DMs, and he does consistently go on dates and hook up with women. To all the people thinking that like maybe David's asexual, or some people think that he's like gay or something like that, he's just super private. And he doesn't get openly sexual with people, which I would say is the only kind of drawback to David's style. He never actually flirts. He never actually expresses attraction to anyone. Everybody thinks that you either have to be like friend zone person where you are like the best friend with the person, but you would never show attraction, or you're like alpha dick cock fuck suck. <laughs> People don't realize that you could marry the two and remove the shitty sides of either. Show the best friend dynamic and show your attraction to the person without neediness and then you have the magic spell. This is the thing that I've been talking about for years and I'm pretty sure people are annoyed with me by it. I keep saying it because it really is the, the, the special sauce, the little sweet spot of how to interact with somebody you're attracted to. All right, right now I'm gonna show you the trailer for the new first date episode that's on my new channel. Click the link in the description to watch it now. Well, here's the trailer. Do you actually feed into those thoughts that you have? Do you go, wow, that really is true? Or do you just bat them away and go, come on, come on, let's be serious I here. find myself constantly trying, trying to bat them away, constantly trying to prove that those thoughts are wrong. 
for starters by like going to the gym more but also by saying no hold on a second like I've had relationships I've had you know and going to the yeah. facts but I will say like more often than not my resting state is low self-esteem and just self-criticism yeah Have you ever taken an improv class? Oh yeah. Do you ever have time to be looking in the sky no. or down? Why no. not? Once it's started, we need to know what's going on with each other. Boom. Yeah. And now that's how an interaction works. everything about the ocean. Okay, um, how deep is it? 100 feet. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> and uh, how many fish are in there? 100. Just 100? Yep. <laughs> Can you ask me another question that has a number? Yeah. What's the answer? Uh, <laughs> 100. <laughs>